Welcome back, everyone. Well, very few freshmen have the kind of impact that Haloti Nada made a year ago on the Oregon program, and the kind he's likely to have in his remaining time with the Ducks. Likewise, very few fathers have had the kind of impact Haloti's dad did and will continue to have for years to come. Here's Nicola Beta. There will be an empty seat at Oxen Stadium this year, a seat once filled by a man who inspired not only his son, but a football team. He was very inspirational to all of us. A seat once reserved for Solomon Nata, father of defensive tackle Haloti Nata. A large man with a large heart who loved nothing more than to watch his son play football. And picture your dad on your shirt there? Yeah. yeah. And I'll remember him. Sadly, the games were numbered for Solomon. In December, he was killed in an automobile accident in Utah, leaving Haloti with the challenge of a lifetime, entering his sophomore year without his father at his side. My team has been there for me since the day passed, and, and now they, everybody, especially the D-line group they, they, and O-line, because I don't know why they are, because we're enemies on the field, practice field, but, but like, all, they're all... They're all good to me, they're all friends, and it's a, every day is, they talk to me, and it's just we're like brothers. A challenge his brothers on and off the field weren't about to let him face alone. He's been very strong, and um, he, I think he has his family in Utah, and he also has a lot of family here, as in families, and like some of his good friends, and I think that has really helped him. As a brother, as a friend, as a teammate, you all support him. The tragic loss stretched beyond the Nata family and hit home for the entire Oregon team because in the short time Haloti's father spent on the sideline, he touched many lives. Some players even looked up to Solomon like a father. You know, Haloti's father was, uh, it was sort of all, all of, uh, you know, my juniors, Matt, and, uh, you know, he was our father. You know, he, he looked out for us. He cared about us. He was a loving man. When he looked at me my way, he just had this big smile. He treated treat almost all of us like it was I was a lucky. One of the biggest supporters I've ever seen of a parent. He just loved everybody who he came in contact with. And so it affected a lot of guys on the team. To escape the sadness, Haloti escaped here. The football field, a place of comfort, a place where he feels his father's spirit, and a place where he wishes to honor him every play. My dad is like a like motivation now, knowing that he's He's not here, but I feel that he'll be watching me all the time anyways. I know it's going to give Haloti a lot more uh, a lot more fire and desire out there on the field, but it's also going to give me and everyone else out there, you know, just that, that will and determination to be better. Even though a heavy weight still lingers on the shoulders of perhaps Oregon's best recruit, Haloti is fueled by a different type of determination, a will to move forward and face the season, knowing his father will be there. And knowing no matter the outcome of the day, Solomon will be proud. I still can hear his voice in the back of your mind. Yeah. yeah. I still think about him every day. Yeah, I will